Today in the cryptocurrency news, John McAfee just doubled down on his Bitcoin predictions for 2020. The Fed just printed more money than the entire Bitcoin market capitalizations and a few more stories. Let's dive right in. Hi everyone, my name is Mark and welcome to O Trading. This week we're starting week number 10 of this cryptocurrency news channels. So if you want to encourage me, subscribe to this channel for more of these videos. Starting with HTC that just released a blockchain phone, the Exodus 1S. This phone can run a full Bitcoin node. It will require you to add to this phone a SD card of more than 250 gig to support the full Bitcoin ledger. HTC is selling this new phone at 244 US dollars. This is one third of the price of the previous model, the Exodus 1. This price allowed the phone to be much more accessible and therefore allowing for more people to run a full Bitcoin node and helping the resilience of the Bitcoin network, allowing everyone to validate transactions. This phone also includes a cryptocurrency hardware wallet to securely store your cryptocurrency in the phone and will come with 4GB of RAM and 63GB of storage. Moving on to Cointelegraph, we learned that the Fed, the US Federal Reserve, has printed in the last few weeks more money than the entire market capitalization of the Bitcoin network. As the economy in the US is going from worse to worse, the Fed has, since mid-September, started an emergency quantitative easing strategy and injected $210 billion in the economy. Quantitative easing means that the Fed is buying government bonds in order to stimulate the economy. So the Fed balance sheet jumped from $3.77 trillion to $3.97 trillion in a month. Since Bitcoin is an asset that cannot be inflated, this should be a great news for any Bitcoin holder. In a speech at the International Monetary Fund General Meeting last week, former Bank of England Governor Mervyn King told attendees the world was sleepwalking into a financial crisis even worse than that of 2008. And I quote, by sticking to the new orthodoxy of monetary policy and pretending that we have made the banking system safe, we are sleepwalking toward that crisis, he summarized. While these days I believe Bitcoin is a bit undervalued, I will keep on stacking these precious satoshis. On Ethereum World News, we learn that John McAfee has doubled down on his uh, Bitcoin predictions. Back in 2017, when Bitcoin was hitting all-time new high almost every month, John McAfee was very active in the crypto community. By promoting a lot of ICO on Twitter, he made a very bullish prediction also, saying that Bitcoin was going to be valued at more than $1 million by the end of 2020. In a recent tweet, John McAfee said to the crypto Twitter community that they should ignore this and I quote, ignore this drop in price. I am firmly with Peter Brand in his medium term $50,000 price prediction. I am also firm on my $1 million price by the end of 2020. Stop wringling your hands, watch Game of Thrones, reruns, or woo your spouse and finish off your drug stash. All is well. And more recently, in an interview with AIBC, McAfee doubled down on his prediction to raise his prediction to $2 million per Bitcoin by the end of 2020. I do believe $2 million is extremely bullish predictions. I myself try to not predict things I can't control. I do believe Bitcoin will have better times ahead, but only time will tell us how high Bitcoin will go and if John McAfee is right in his 2020 Bitcoin predictions. Moving back to Cointelegraph, we learned that the Chinese cryptocurrency hardware manufacturer Bitmain has just opened what they claim is the world's largest Bitcoin mining facility in Texas, USA. The facility is established in an old Alcoa aluminum smelters and is currently hosting 25 megawatts capacity. They are still in expansion phase with still 500 megawatts of capacity under construction. 
Bitmain say that this site is expected to create 400 local jobs in the first two years and generate $500 million of investment in the local eco economy over a period of seven years. Remaining on Coin Telegraph, we learned that the New York District Court just postponed the hearing with Telegram Ton blockchain to February 2020. In the court decision to postpone the hearing that was originally planned for October the 24th, the court also mentions that the Ton blockchain cannot distribute their grams token till the end of the hearing. Hopefully, this will give more time to Telegram to prepare a good defense. In a letter to their investor, Telegram wrote, and I quote, Telegram views this development as a positive step towards resolving this matter through the court system in an expeditious manner. And we and our advisor will be using the time to ensure that Telegram position is presented and supported as strongly as possible at the February hearing. Remember that Telegram blockchain, the TON, has collected $1.7 billion during their ICO last year. So it's one of the most anticipated blockchain to be launched. Moving to our daily cryptocurrency price update, we have Bitcoin at $8,265, an increase of 3.31%. Ethereum is at $177, an increase of 2.41%. Bitcoin Cash is at $232, an increase of 8.18%. Moneo is at $58, an increase of 4.35%. Litecoin is at $55, an increase of 3.13%. Binance Coin is at $18, an increase of 1.17%. EOS is at $2.96, an increase of 2.57%. Ripple is at 29 cents, an increase of 1.15%. Cardano is at 3 cents, an increase of 1.25%. Stellar Lumens is at 6 cents, an increase of 0.45%. Don't forget that there's still my Bitcoin giveaway running till the 31st of October on Gleams.io. The link is in the descriptions. Thank you to have watched this video. I post three videos a week on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday regarding the latest cryptocurrency news. So subscribe to this channel for more of these videos and smash the like button to help propagate this video on the YouTube algorithm. Thank you and have a great week.